By special request of so many people who commented on the previous video about the 100 gram roll of mystery soda, I have the 20 gram and 50 gram rolls to test as well. Now, I tested the soda before. That it behaved very oddly. It was supposedly for soldering um, stainless steel, and it did solder stainless steel. But uh, since then, John has analysed it with x-ray analysis and says it's 95% lead, 5% tin. And there's a little dash of cadmium in there as well. So the previous one, the 100 gram reel, had 40 grams of soda and a 60 gram reel. Just an unusually heavy plastic reel. So let's uh, start the scales up here uh, and we'll just make sure they're fully nulled out. And you have to guess how much soda is on the 20 gram reel. So let's put it on. It says 20 grams, but I'm about to pull the soda off and weigh the reel and the soda separately. So place your bets. Here comes the soda. Let's bunch the soda up and see what we got for our 20 grams. Is it going to be any better than the other one? We got 10 grams. They gave us well, 9 grams. So what's the the real weighs 10 grams. So let's just say 10 grams of uh, of soda. So half the weight. Does that mean that for the 50 gram reel it's going to be 25 grams? Place your bet now. So let's start by weighing it. And it says 51 grams. Ooh, you spoil us with this one gram of extra free soda. So let's uh, get this soda off. That's such a narrow reel. And the reel is 32 grams. Hold on, I'm just rolling the soda up here. So here's the soda. Sit it on top. Just make sure, yes, that's your the original 50 grams-ish. And the soda is 18 grams. Yeah, that's that's very ungenerous. So 32 grams for that and 18 or 19 grams of soda. That's not very good. So uh, how did you do with your guess? I thought it was going to be roughly 50%, but I'd say the best deal, I'm not sure, I can't remember how much these cost, is the, is the fact that with the 20 gram reel, you at least get roughly-ish, half and half. But that's it. Um, I don't recommend using the soda. It certainly, I mean, it's, it did solder stainless steel and it, it's flowed onto copper circuit boards, but the, the flux was aggressive. Some of you guessed it was acid-based flux, and I would agree. And that means that if you used it on a circuit board and didn't clean it off, the circuit board is probably going to corrode later on, so it's not a great idea. I've still got that circuit board here, haven't I? Is it this one? No signs of corrosion yet, but you just never know if that was the one. Uh, or was it this one? Oh, it was this one. Oh, hold on. Let me just uh, let me just check this. Well, no signs of corrosion yet, but it would be inevitable, particularly in a humid environment with an acid-based flux. Um, but I'm also not convinced that 95% uh, lead is going to be a really strong joint for stainless steel items. But there we have it. That uh, concludes the trilogy of the Shady Soda bought from Aliexpress. I will provide a link to these just for the novelty of it if you want to experiment with terrible soda. But um, it might have some applications. Just be careful, you know, wear breathing protection or have a fan blowing just because uh, this thing contains more than the usual ingredients and that kind of makes it interesting but not great for electronic use.